So, I am in the middle of a snowstorm here in New York City. This is actually where Ignited went to school. I'm in the schoolyard down the block from my house. Um, you guys have told me that you would want to see me, you know, do a video outside of ASMR. So I figured, what better idea than to make a video of me in the snow? Which is another um, request that I have gotten from a lot of you to show you the snow. Um, there's an airplane passing by. Um, I don't see how this cannot be relaxing. This is pretty relaxing. I mean, I'm not whispering, but I am indeed and in a very calm space, very pretty space, I would say. You can see the snow. What made me think of doing this video, though, was I'm walking in. Do you hear that sound that the snow makes when you walk in it? Can you hear that? I'm not sure if you do. But I was hearing that and I was like, oh, what a pleasant sound. Maybe my subscribers will enjoy. So, I got the camera rolling. But how are you guys today? Um, I'm so happy with the, the 100th video reaching that milestone on my channel. Pretty excited about it. To some, it might not be a big deal. Like, oh wow, you reached a hundred videos on YouTube, making videos of you eating. But it's more to me than that. It's friendship, it's connections, it's genuine love from all of you. Well, from most of you. Some people are not so nice. <laughs> but, um, you know, for the most part. A lot of you show me love, so I'm excited. I'm happy, and I'm so excited to um, bring you many more videos. You know, now this video, I'm actually recording the night of um, the day that I recorded my pancake hundredth video for you. But like I said. I'm not going to post up another video until I get 75 likes. Why 75? Because I think 100 is too much. It'll probably take too long to reach 100 likes. I have like maybe two or three videos that have reached 100 likes. And I was so like, oh my god, 100 likes on a video. The likes is what really um, impresses me more than the views of a video. I really like when I get a lot of likes. So. So I was like, ah, let me see who's watching. Because like I was saying, also, I'm getting a lot of dislikes lately on my videos. A lot of people are disliking them. And I'm not sure why. I kind of have an idea. Because I'm re-uploading a lot of older videos. You know, but there are there are videos that um, don't really have a lot of views. So that I know a lot of you haven't watched them. And I have a lot of videos. So I'm sure a lot of you who have subscribed to me recently haven't really gone through all my videos because you know it's a lot of work and a lot of you have been asking me for a gum chewing video and I said to myself mm, I have one and it doesn't have that many views it has like 400 views which is not a lot so I said let me just delete it and re-upload it so you know my subscribers can get a chance to see it again so that's what I did and then I got a lot of dislikes on it so maybe more maybe a lot of you did see it and didn't appreciate the re-upload I don't know but with that being said that's why I asked you to like my video 75 likes just want to see that you guys are still with me watching my videos um, it's such a pretty night it's very dry it's very dry it's very cold it is but I cannot tell you how much I love this weather. Maybe it's because I've, you know, I'm from New York, so it's not really like a big deal to me. You know, I, I will admit I have to be in the mood for it. I just don't come out in 
middle of you know 20 degree weather all the time I just needed a walk you know when you're in the house for such a long time you're just home doing nothing just finding things to do that you know you're just making up shit to do and that's what I was doing I was like cleaning out a drawer that I've cleaned out thousands of times I was like okay Matthew let's go time to go outside I was getting cabin fever I guess and it was becoming really boring so I came outside and figured I'd walk through the park make myself a little make a little vlog as you guys said for me to do so here it is and I know you guys said that I should like make another channel but I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that I'm gonna make a lot of vlogs this is probably a one-time thing maybe I'll do another one one day but you know depending on the response I get from you I will make another one so yeah we're in the handball court I played a lot of handball when I was in junior high school like I said this is the junior high school yard so I got into a really big fight here actually right here on this side when I was in the sixth grade I went to school with my cousin and um, I'm very protective of her and uh, up until recently we used to be together almost every day kind of like twins we're only two months apart, so we're very close in age. And um, our mothers, in fact, are very close in age, too. My mom is only 40. Excuse me, my mom's only 39, and her mother is 41. So, yeah, my mom and her mom are very close in age, like I said. And um, so it's kind. Of, their relationship is kind of mirrored through our relationship, me and my cousin. Anyway, the point is, when we came out for lunch, like, you know, when you go out, for recess or whatever and we went have all courts and some new girl because it was it was like in the beginning of the school year but it had been a few days already that we started school and she came in late like you know sometimes she i think she moved from queens to the bronx so she started school a little later than us and she was just this big troublemaker like and everyone knew i was gay like not that i came out when i was that young but people used to say oh you're gay oh you're a fag so I grew up with hearing that a lot and getting picked on and stuff, you know, but um, it was okay. It wasn't something that really bothered me, you know, but it bothered my cousin. She didn't like it because, you know, she, she was with me as well. So anyway, what happened was she um, got it from the girl. The girl started arguing with her like, mind your business. This is not between you. She was like okay and then they started fighting and then the girl hit my cousin and then i started hitting the girl <laughs> so um, we all got suspended but um it was actually the girl who got expelled and she wasn't asked to come back to the school so she was literally here for in the school for like two days but um yeah wow memory lane walking through here it's kind of cool i don't really come here often and it's only a block away from my house like i told you but there's not really any point in coming here all the time. So we got some guys over there playing basketball. I don't know if you can see, but I'm sure you can hear the ball bouncing. You better be careful. I almost slipped over there a little while ago. A lot of black ice on the floor. But anyway, um, I guess that's it for my vlog. Maybe I should walk around and show you my neighborhood. This is some new buildings that they just built actually a few years back probably like a year ago but um yeah before that was there that used to be just some I don't know, can you see yeah what well, way anyway, it's like a seven story building and before that was here it was just like an empty yard just like with dirt and stuff and then they started construction I'll say probably in 2000 eight and then they finished it quite some time later probably like three years later maybe four i think they ended in 2011 or 2012 i'm not sure but um yeah this is my neighborhood we got some houses over here they're not really houses they're like condos they have like little apartments on the inside but they're like houses 
and that. I will show you where I live, but that's really far away. Like four blocks now. And by the time I walk over there, the video will probably be done. No more time left in the video, so I'll do that another day. But yeah, guys, I really enjoy walking to clear my mind. It just makes me feel good. If you guys don't walk, you should. I don't think you should walk just because you're walking somewhere. Because you're going to work or you're going to, you know, visit a friend or something. It's good to just go for walks, I think. I must tell you, it's very, very therapeutic. It saves you a lot of money in psychiatry. <laughs> no, you don't have to go to therapy. Just walk and clear your mind. And before you know it, all your problems are gone. And you've come up with solutions. This is true. This is very true. So yeah, guys. I really, really hope that you like up that video. 75 likes. And I'll be uploading this one. Even though I did say that I was going to upload an ASMR video. Once you guys like the 70, you know, the 75 likes or whatever. But a lot of you have asked me for vlogs. So I think that you guys would appreciate it. So I think you probably like this video more than if I did an eating video. Now tell me if I'm right. If I'm not, then hey. But um, I'm in fact going to upload this one. And then maybe a day after, I'll upload a new eating video. But thank you guys for taking a walk with me in my town. Oh look, if you can see really far in the distance, you see some moving, like a moving light. Oh, that was the subway, the New York City Metro Transportation subway. But yeah, I'll probably do more, more vlogs and maybe take you down when I'm in the city when I'm in Manhattan take you and you can see the Empire State Building and the Freedom Tower where the Twin Towers used to be and unfortunately 9-11 we lost there's a very, very beautiful building slash memorial there now it's really nice it's something that maybe a lot of you won't ever get to see and I live really close to it not really close like a 40 minute train ride away but fairly close so you know one day i'll do that and you know you can look forward to that but i love you guys as always um thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and honestly i pretty, i'm i like this we can maybe have a new segment new segment maybe i'll call it a, a stroll with matt or take a walk with matt something like that we will see but thank you guys. I love you. And I hope you're having a good night. Bye. Oh, today's date is January 29th. And it's 6... 6.01 p.m. Eastern time in New York City. As you can see, at 6 o'clock, it's pitch black already over here. And, um... Snow everywhere. Alright, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.